Wait, little kitty. Don't drink that milk. Why not? Well, let me unspoil that by answering What if you drink expired milk? Zoom in! Milk is one of the most widely consumed beverages around the world because it is rich in essential nutrients. However, raw milk can also harbor harmful bacteria such as E. coli, Listeria monocytogenes and Salmonella which can pose serious health risks if consumed. So to make milk safe for consumption, most commercially sold milk is pasteurized, a process in which it is briefly heated to a specific temperature to kill the majority of harmful microbes and also extends the milk's shelf life by two to three weeks. That said, pasteurization does not sterilize the milk completely. And over time, especially if it is not stored properly, new bacteria from the environment can enter the container and begin to multiply. These microbes feed on lactose, the natural sugar in milk, and produce acids as waste, lowering the milk's pH, causing it to spoil. But in case you accidentally take a sip of spoilt milk, don't panic. In most cases, your stomach acid is strong enough to destroy the majority of microbes before they can cause harm. For healthy individuals, this may result in nothing more than a bad taste or mild stomach discomfort. However, if the spoilt milk contains a large number of bacteria or if your immune system is weak, some of these harmful microbes may survive the stomach's acidic environment and reach the intestines, leading to symptoms such as nausea, stomach cramps and vomiting as your body tries to expel the invaders. In most serious cases, the intestines may respond by speeding up muscle contractions, a process known as peristalsis, which results in diarrhea to quickly flush out harmful microbes. Some bacteria may even bind to intestinal cells and trigger inflammation, causing a condition known as gastroenteritis. If the infection worsens, the immune system activates a broader response, releasing cytokines, chemical messengers that can cause fever, fatigue and general malaise. In rare instances, especially when Listeria monocytogenes is involved, the bacteria may enter the bloodstream or nervous system leading to meningitis, a dangerous inflammation of the brain and spinal cord. Therefore, despite our body's natural defense mechanisms, it's essential to avoid consuming spoilt milk in the first place. And the best way to do so is to start by using our sense of smell. Spoilt milk typically has a sour, pungent odor. And if you're still unsure, check the texture. Spoilt milk often feels clumpy, thick or uneven when poured. Finally, if it tastes sour or bitter, it's a clear sign that it's no longer safe to drink. In addition, always check the expiration date and store milk at or below 40 degree Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius. And make sure to never leave it out at room temperature for extended periods. Following these simple habits can help you avoid unpleasant surprises and an upset stomach. Trivia time! Did you know people discover cheese by accident when milk spoiled and cuddled naturally? Yes, 
Today, the cheese making process is controlled by spoilage using specific bacteria and molds. To know more, check out our video on the invention of cheese. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Sara Savan. Hope you uncovered a spoiler today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, Kitty, I hope you now understand why drinking spoilt milk is a terrible idea. Kitty, I just told you not to. Relax, Kitty Pot. <laughs> uh, well, never mind then.